They begin in an instant and soon grow into a fast-moving torrent of soil and water, boulders, trees, and debris that can wipe out roads, houses, even whole towns, and lives. Mudslides, or what scientists call debris flows, happen on steep slopes all over the world when rain or melting snow saturates the ground, making it unstable. They can be set off by earthquakes or other natural disasters, but often the trigger is gravity itself. Mudslides occur on many kinds of slopes, and erosion often plays a role. But hillsides that have recently been burned over by fire are especially vulnerable. When trees burn, their roots eventually die, leaving little to anchor the soil in place. Then heavy rains can create a potentially deadly situation. The water fills the space between the dirt grains, in effect lubricating the soil. At some point, the force of gravity is stronger than the friction holding the soil together, and the mudslide begins. Many start out small, but they can grow tenfold as the debris scours the bottom and sides, picking up more soil and water, rocks, trees, and anything else in the way. They can flow at speeds of more than 20 miles an hour before reaching flatter ground, slowing down and spreading out. Much of the damage is caused by a surge front, a wall of boulders and other large objects that accumulate as the flowing material naturally separates. This is followed by finer material that often resembles wet concrete. When the mudslide finally stops, the mixture starts to lose water and harden. The tangle of debris can make rescue difficult, if not impossible.